Hi, and welcome to OMB Warehouse presents the Gray Goat Garage. I'm Eric. I am the Gray Goat. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to install one of the most popular throttle assemblies for the Predator 212 or even the clone engines. This is the governed throttle assembly, not for ungoverned engines. We have a different part for that. But today we're going to install this part on this brand new Predator 212 engine. Um, one thing that I hate when I see a guy on a mini bike with the cord hanging out on the front is, dude, are you really going to stand in front of your mini bike and pull start it? You know? So the first thing we want to do is get this unit off. We're going to rotate it around, and that's simple to do. And then we're just going to uh, loosely install this bracket. So because I uh, am gimped right now with the cast, we're just going to take this off. And if you don't have to have an impact for this, these aren't real tight. These are uh, eight millimeter socket or wrench would get that off for you. So I'm gonna start by installing the bottom screw. And then we can get this bracket up here. Very common problem when installing this kit is that sometimes on some of the Predator engines, the screws are too short to go in properly and secure this unit. What we can do for that is we'll do a little thieving. If you have a, 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 the bolts that are too short, steal the bolt off the low oil sensor, which will probably disconnect anyway. And you can also steal another bolt from the, the blower housing right here. Take those bolts out, replace it with the shorter bolts in the, in the blower housing, the starter housing, and then you'll have long enough bolts without having to take washers off or anything. So we have the right bolts here. So we're just gonna get this, and I don't want this tight yet, I want this loose. At this point, I'll have you take the air filter off, the stock air filter. And this is with a 10 millimeter uh, wrench or socket. And I do need to add that in the Grey Goat garage, this is not even a one cold beverage job. This is a half a cold beverage job. Oh, that's nice and cold and delicious. Okay, so I'm just gonna carefully pull this off. Um, I already had this line disconnected. Um, sometimes you have to undo the little clip to get this off of the housing, but uh, the tube for the valve cover breather will just come right out of the valve cover. So we'll set that aside for right now. The reason we need to take that off is because we need to get to the stock throttle assembly right here. And you'll notice that the stock throttle assembly on these Predator engines from the factory is very stiff. It's made to set in one position and stay there. The reason that it stays like that is because there's what's called a wavy spring washer underneath here that holds tension on the top of this assembly. So I've got another assembly here that I'll show you how we're gonna do it. If we can get a close up of this, 10 millimeter nut on the top of this. Just take that nut off. A lot of people loosen these up and just let it swing freely that way. I don't like doing that. I'd rather have more engagement with the lock nut. And now that there's this little funny shaped washer with this little tang, this little tang indexes with the upper limit screw in the spring right here. So right here you can see the wavy spring washer and that's what holds tension in this whole unit. So we don't want that. We're gonna put that off to the side. Index this little uh, funny washer and slide it on. And then we'll get the nut back on top of this. And tighten that down. I'm freakishly strong so I can get that done. So we'll just tighten that up snug. So now, 
the throttle snaps back freely. So let's get that done on the engine. I'm just going to take this nut off. We're going to lift up that funny shaped cone washer with the index leg on it. Don't disturb any of this. Just take this washer out. Make sure the arm goes back down over the shoulder on the stud. We're going to index this washer back on here. Put the lock nut back on. What I do is I'm going to take this and just go all the way down tight on this. Okay, I'm tight now. Now, now this is not moving real free. So I'm just going to back it off just maybe a quarter of a turn. Now the throttle's nice and snappy. Okay, the next step for installing this kit is on the stock throttle plate, there is a conduit holder with a Phillips head screw. We need to remove that so the rod clears this whole assembly. So I'm going to take my Phillips screwdriver and I'm a right-handed person and I'm working left-handed. So you guys have me beat here. Okay, I'm going to remove that screw and the conduit clip. Not going to need that, so we're going to put that aside. <coughs> You're also going to notice at the top of that throttle plate that there's a, a hex nut swivel with, an, with a Phillips head screw through the center. That's what the rod here is going to connect to on this engine. So what I need to do is take my 10 millimeter wrench, put it on that nut, and loosen up the Phillips head screw. That will allow me to take this rod, go through the center of that 10 millimeter bolt, and I'm just going to leave it there. Um, I, I actually am going to put a little tension on this right now so we don't lose it. And at this point, I can reinstall the stock air filter. So, and, and now's a, a great time to um, ha have some cold beverage if you get thirsty, because I get real thirsty. Okay, so we're just going to put that back in, make sure this tube goes back into my valve cover. And I'm going to plug in my vent line for the carburetor, for the gas tank, I mean, sorry. Okay. And it's probably easier to do this with two hands, but you know, we, uh, we deal with what we got. So, okay, so there we are there. I'm gonna take these two nuts, put them back onto the studs coming out of the head that hold the whole assembly together, and tighten these down. When you tighten these down, once you have one side that goes snug, go back to the other side. These don't need to be super tight. Okay, so now the stock, uh, stock air box is back on. Now, we can take and tighten down the bolts on the recoil. All right, in the kit, you'll notice you have this little black bracket where a brass fixture goes, goes through the, the larger hole in the bracket. This bracket simply bolts on to the end of the red bracket. I use the first hole on this because I feel it, it lines up better with the whole assembly. So once I get that, I'm just going to leave that loose for right now. One of the main problems that, that so many people face is they get confused on what's going on here. This is a compression fitting and that's what the go-kart guys use for their throttle cables is a, a clear nylon cable that has um, 
a small diameter to go through this little it's what we call the olive but what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna use it I say no to olives so but you're gonna notice your standard throttle cable is a little bit too short to reach from here to here so with that assuming this is already in your throttle mechanism and I'm just going to leave this tight on the end. You're going to notice that this stock cable will go through the nut, but not the olive. So I'm not going to use the olive. Um, this cable being too long as it is, we're going to have to shorten it anyway. So in, in your typical application, your throttle would come either to this side of the stock plate or into the back plate. So because of that, we need to shorten this cable anyway, so you don't have a bunch of cable hanging around on your bike. So with that, um, I'm going to get my, my measurements set here on the top. And if you can focus real closely in on this piece right here, what I'm looking for is the top part of this black V-shaped piece to face the carburetor. Okay, I've already got this very close right now and um, we, we may have to adjust it later. But as long as the, the, the V-shaped piece with the rod is facing the carburetor or the back of the engine, that's fine. So to cut this conduit, I'm just gonna drop the, the, the conduit or the inner cable out of the conduit. And the big mystery uh, remains is how, how to trim a throttle cable. Um, here, I'll, I'll show you right now. Okay, I just trimmed a throttle cable. Made a nice clean cut through there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my inner cable back through. And I probably cut it too short. It's probably still not going to reach. So we're going to cut it again. Let's do a take two on that. Take two. Okay, let's cut a little shorter. Okay. Big mystery solved there. We cut a throttle cable. Um, all right, so I'm gonna put this inner cable back through the conduit. Now I have plenty of cable to go through the brass piece and back to the billet clevis. So, like I mentioned before, not gonna use the olive. If, if you're a kart racer and you're using the, the, the clear uh, throttle cable line, that's fine. What I like to do is get the nut on first just to make it look pretty. And then I'm going to just fish this through here. You'll notice that this, this stock, uh, this conduit fits right in the center of this brass piece anyway. So I just put this on just to make it look good. But should, should I want to remove my, my cable later, I can just pull it out. So not a big deal. So I'm going to get this lined up the best I can with this clevis. And at that point, I can take and lock this Allen down. Okay. So now with this piece fixed... To get the throttle cable, you just push it through the hole and then you use the set screw here to clamp down on the inner cable. Make sure that, that you have your cable, your conduit, all the way into the brass piece before you get to that point. Okay? So once we're there, then all we have to do is get this locked down and this throttle works perfect. Some of you guys are going to have some problems with this lever right here um, hit, hitting the bracket. That's not something we can control because every one of these engines is different. So this piece can be bent real easy, up or down, or put a couple pairs of pliers on it and bend it back this way. Just make sure that you're returning all the way back to idle when you have this done. And that's all there is to installing this kit. It's easy. And I haven't even had half a cold beverage yet. <laughs>